What you doing other nerds, I'm the AC, and I'm going to talk about The 100, Season 7, Episode 2, The Garden. Now, for a non spoiler review, this episode pretty much just goes over what happens to Octavia right after the first time she enters the anomaly, and then also what happens to uh, Gabriel, Echo, and Hope whenever they enter the anomaly. It goes back and forth between the past and then them now. Uh, unfortunately, it only makes even more questions than it gives us answers. It was a kind of unsatisfying in my opinion. It didn't really give us anything to really drive the story more. It just made more story with, I don't know, it just didn't really seem prompted the way they went about it. But I will get more into my thoughts on that. But let's just go over what actually happens in this episode. So, let's just talk first about what happened to Octavia after the first time she goes into Anomaly. It doesn't show anything about where she is now, so you don't gotta worry about that. It absolutely shows no current Octavia or Bellamy. So, just Octavia's past. Apparently, within those few seconds of her entering the Anomaly, she comes out three months after Dioza got there. And, coincidentally, she gets there right when Dioza is going into labor. And then she has hope. And then from there, it pretty much just gives us a little more information about the past more than what's going on now. Um, Hope's born. Um, they grew up together. Apparently, Octavia was there for ten years. I don't know how she didn't age any. I guess they just didn't think about it or didn't want to do much to the actress playing Octavia to make her look 10 years older. Maybe she just didn't actually age when she goes back. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on. But it shows them Octavia's wanting to go back to her brother to warn him because she still thinks this whole thing with the proms is going on. Uh, and apparently she spends six years trying to dive at the bottom of this lake because that's where the anomaly is, where she's at now. Uh, and eventually, you know, she has this moment where she's accepted being there. So I guess for the next four years, she's kind of accepted it. She throws a bottle, hopefully, hoping the note will get to Bellamy. Um, through the anomaly and it's kind of a nice moment seeing like oh, okay she's accepted this unfortunately it's that note that brings these invisible troopers which are eventually revealed that they're called disciples um, and they come they snag Dioza and Octavia they leave hope alone that's it that's all it shows not too much like it Yes, it does show a little of what they did, but it wasn't significant. It didn't really matter up until that point. The only thing it really showed is, okay, Octavia and Hope had this 10-year auntie-niece relationship, and then it shows that they get taken. I guess later the more interesting part's going to come, because even though Octavia kind of taught Hope a little bit how to fight. Apparently, she learns to fight from someone else. I guess in the next 10 years, she's by herself because she said she was there for 20. Oh. But it also shows that Hope's the one that names the new planet that Anomaly takes them to. It's called Skyrim because there's a ring up in the sky. It's very creative. I was making fun of it until I realized it was a child that names it. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. That's fine. Now, we go back to what happens to uh, Gabriel, Echo, and now grown-up Hope when they go back. They come, Hope takes them right back to the little cottage house they were staying at. First, I was curious as to how, where that house came from. A lot of stuff is revealed, but like, again, it's the past. More stuff about how this came to be a little bit and not about the actual situation that they're involved in right now. So, just a little backstory on this. Through looking at dead corpse skeletons, Gabriel finds another 
a little mind drive in somebody. Uh, apparently he was a colonel. He was the last survivor for at least his three that came to this planet which he realizes is planet beta so apparently the anomaly connects planet alpha to planet beta and the anomaly in the water actually connects not back to planet alpha but to some place bardo i don't know but apparently i don't I wasn't apparently bardo sends people to planet beta or skyrim that are prisoners that aren't useful so this is a whole nother place we don't know and it could be a whole nother planet that was also part of Allegis trip maybe there's a delta out there but yeah it's weird and then Gabriel's looking through um, the mind drive with memory reader he figures out the code of course there's some crazy person that's been there by himself destroys that Gabriel's also thinking the reason there's this time mess is because it's all black hole kind of stuff. I don't know. To me, it's getting really... It's even more science fiction-y than before. And yes, I, I guess it is a science fiction show. But now it's getting even more on the absurd side. It's getting hard to not follow you get what's going on but it's like harder to believe this could be a possibility and all this stuff even now it's still theoretical black holes and what they could actually do it's just weird and it's it's interesting when you focus on the characters and their development it's interesting trying to think of all the sciencey stuff and trying to believe it it's weird but you know they're figuring stuff out uh, we get to, I guess we get to see where they go from here, but not right away. Another problem I'm having with the way they're doing this is I like how they focus on one thing until you realize they're going to have to be switching back to this group one episode, the other group next episode. I don't know how the flow of this is going to go if they keep having to go back and having a whole week in between and focus on a different issue kind of wish they would show both sides like the first episode did show what's going on in both places because eventually it just feels choppy and like you want to see what happens you don't want to have to watch this one week then watch something completely different next week then go back and yeah i don't know where this flow is going i am more interested now though in what's going on in sanctum more than what's going on with these anomalies maybe because it's can make more sense it's feels more like what the old hundred was instead of this anomaly is kind of a whole different tone than what previous i don't know but we'll see what did you think about this episode though have you watched it did you kind of on board with what i'm saying kind of like it more than i did i don't know let me know in the comments but if you do like what i have to say like this video you want to see me talk more about the hundred and all kinds of other stuff go ahead and subscribe to this video and then you can see when all that happens. But until then, I'm DSC. Thank you for watching, and bye.